In today's video, I want to show you how to import a CSV file into Microsoft Excel. Now in this video, I'm using Excel 2016, but the same technique will work in Excel 2013, Excel 2010, Excel 2007, and even Excel 2003. So a CSV file is uh, a, a text file, and uh, it's going to be comma-separated values is what CSV means. Let's take a look at one. So I'll go to my Windows Explorer, and I'll go to my Documents folder. And in the Documents folder, I have a file that's called customers. And let's take a closer look at that. Here's the customers file. And notice the um, file type. Now, sometimes it'll say Microsoft Excel there, but the CSV means comma separated values. Comma separated values, CSV. Uh, let's take a look at that file. Let me zoom back out for a second. So I'm gonna right click on that file and I'll pick on open with, and I'll open up with a text editor called Notepad. That still comes with Windows. Now, when we take a look at this document, each field is separated by a comma, as you can see. Now, this one has the field names in the first row. That's not always the case, but this one does have the field names in the first row. Uh, so each record is going to be a different row, as we can see here. And notice how in this one, the text is also surrounded by, comma, by quotes. That's not always the case, but in this case, it is. That'll be important for what I'm about to show you. So I want to close that window. That's what the text file looks like as a normal text file. So we're going to minimize the Windows Explorer screen. Now, there's two ways I can open up this from uh, Excel, or at least two ways. Whereas first, I'll just try to open it up directly. I'll say File, and then Open. Now, we'll come down here, and we'll pick on Browse. And I'll go to my Documents folder. Now, if I pick on the category that's called All Files, then it'll show up there. There's the customer's file, and you see how it says Microsoft Excel, uh, comma, delimit, comma, separated values. So you want to pick either the category that's called All Files right there, or another category would be Text Files. It's going to show up there as well. So if I scroll down, there's the customer's document right there. So either one will get us that. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. And it does a pretty good job of opening up that file, as we can see. The only problem is, right now, it's still a CSV file. We just opened that with an Excel. So what you would really want to do is, when I go to save this, it says, some features in your worksheet might be lost if you save it as a CSV. Do you want to keep using that format? So you might want to convert it at this time to an Excel spreadsheet. So I'll pick on uh, No. And then you come to the Save As window and you pick on Browse. And you save it as uh, an Excel workbook all right, or any of the other Excel formats. If you don't do that, it'll just save it back to the original text file, not really being an wor uh, Excel workbook. So in this case, you save it as an Excel workbook. And then you're good to go. So one way we did that is we just did a file open and pointed to the CSV file. Here's another way to open up that Excel, uh, that CSV file into Excel. I'll say file close this time. Now I'm on a blank workbook as we can see. We're gonna pick in the data menu up top. Now under data, you come over here. Now sometimes you have to pick in the word get external data to expand that section. But sometimes the word from text is right there. Uh, on the uh, on the data toolbar. So I'll go ahead and pick on from text. And now you point to that document this way. So in this case, I'll point to my documents folder. And then there's the customer's document. Now when we do it this way, it's going to open up the text import wizard window as you can see. Now at this point, you'll pick on delimit it. And then we'll pick on next. Now you want to tell it that it, is a, that it is a comma that is separating those. So I'm going to uncheck it where it says tab and pick on comma instead. And now you can see we have nice even columns of data. Now remember how I said the text items were also surrounded by quotes. That would be the text qualifier. So in this case, I would pick on the double quote star. You don't always have to do that, but in this case, that was certainly uh, the, the right choice. So I'll pick on next. 
Now, sometimes you have to change things on this window, and sometimes you don't. What you would do is you would click on each field and make each field specifically a text field or a date field, or just skip that field completely and not import it. In this case, I don't have to do anything on this window, but sometimes I do. So I'll click on Finish. We'll click on OK to put it in cell A1, or whichever cell that you wanted to put it in. I'm going to click on OK, and now it brought in that text file, as we can see. Each comma, each comma made a separate column, as you can see. It makes a pretty good uh, Excel spreadsheet. The difference is that this one is actually an Excel spreadsheet. And then if I just save this, it's already in Excel format. I'll just pick on Browse. And I'll call that one Customers 2. But notice how, notice how this one is already in Excel Workbook. Whereas the other one, this is already an Excel workbook, whereas the other one uh, had to be saved as an Excel workbook. So that was the difference. I'll pick on save right there. So now you have two different ways to import a CSV file into an Excel spreadsheet. And it's something that you'll probably use all the time. It's a very popular file format, CSV.